YouTubers, what's up? Eagles Truth here with you. All right, my last video, the Eagles Redskins post game. Some Redskins fans try and talk that shit. Look, I hate putting every single fan in the same box here because it's not true. You have your extremists and everything like that, but Redskins fans. You guys are the most opportunistic shit talkers I've ever seen in my life. I'm not bitter. I'm really not. I have no problem saying that, yes, you are the best team in the NFC least this year. Or at the very, very least, at the very least, you are playing the best football, the most consistent football in the NFC least this year. I have no problem saying that. So if you want me to sit there and be like, congrats Redskins, you're the better team this year, I have no problem doing that. I don't know what you think that video was, but if I didn't make myself clear, I apologize. Um, my thing was looking on the bright side. You know, it's not even so much looking on the bright side. It's the truth. The Eagles were not good enough to go into the playoffs and do anything. And you know what? The Redskins aren't either. I'm sorry if that sounds bitter. Do you think you're going to go beat the Seahawks? Do you think you're going to go then go and beat the uh, Arizona Cardinals and then the Panthers? Do you think you're going to do that? I sure as hell don't see that. Do you see that happening? Come on, Redskins fans. So if you don't, guess what? You're back home. <coughs> <coughs> getting over a cold. Watching the rest of the playoffs with us Eagles fans, Giants fans, and Cowboys fans. Nothing happened outside of bragging rights. You get to hang a, a division winner, a 2015 division winner banner in your stadium. And that's like, that's it. You get a worse draft pick, right? You get, come on people. And you have to play a first place schedule next year. Now I'll admit, I don't think there's that much of a difference between playing the Seahawks and the Cardinals. You know? So, and I don't, you know, um, there might not be that much of a difference between playing the Packers and the Vikings next year either. Um, you know, it depends on which uh, division we play next year. I don't know. But, um... That's why I hope the Giants beat us. That way we can play a third place schedule next year. Because there is a drop off from your Arizona Cardinals and Seahawks to your 49ers and Rams. There's a drop off from the Packers and Vikings to the Lions and Bears. Now granted, some teams that were terrible this year will be good next year and vice versa. I get it. But it's all about what's best for the team. Am I lying that, you know, looking at it, outside of getting some postseason experience, you know, with our young guys, outside of that, was there really any advantage to making the playoffs? I mean, granted, yes, there's that very, 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 very slim chance that even the worst of teams can go and win the Super Bowl. Okay. I can't sit there and say that if the Eagles would have made the playoffs that it was impossible they win the Super Bowl. That's, that's ludicrous. Just like I just can't, I can't say it's impossible the Redskins win the Super Bowl. All I'm saying is it's highly unlikely. Very likely that either of us would have been bounced in the first round and so yes, it, I'm sorry if the other video was kind of like a Congrats, Redskins fans, but you're going to suck. Like, good, good luck getting destroyed. Even though every year when the Eagles won the division, that's what the other NFC East fans would say. Like, yeah, you're just going to lose. You guys don't win Super Bowls. <laughs> you know, that's what, you know. <laughs> but that's not what my video was truly trying to say. It was kind of like, you know what? I'm not even mad. It's like we weren't going to do anything anyway. It's probably for the best. And here's another thing that Redskins fans don't consider. Our defensive coordinator, Billy Davis, is atrocious. Atrocious. 
we go in and make the playoffs, there's no guarantee that he's fired. I truly think he's going to be fired. If he's not fired, mm, wow. You know, so I think not making the playoffs is a better way of getting changes that need to be done, done. Okay? There's just so many advantages to us losing, and it sucks because I like to win right now. I don't want to sit there and go through a whole another freaking off season. I don't. I don't want to go through all that shit um, and wait and hope that we're amazing next year. I think we can be amazing if the right moves are made. Otherwise, it's just going to be further downhill. So the Eagles can continue to shit the bed or they can actually um, do very, very well here. I want to keep Sam Bradford. I think he is a franchise quarterback. I truly do. If you just watch him play, forget about the stats the win-loss or, you know, things like that. Just watch him. Every pass he throws, was it catchable? Was it a drop, should I say? Was, he, was it a good read? Was he getting the ball out quick? Was, I mean, just everything. Did he have good mobility inside the pocket? Did he, you know, good pocket awareness? All that shit. Outside of him, his mobility, because he's not fast, okay? Outside of all that, if you just watch him, He's a franchise quarterback. He needs to stay healthy, but he's a franchise quarterback. Um, if we can find a way to keep him, he said he wants to stay. I don't know what else he's supposed to, supposed to say if we, after week 16, but whatever. Um, keep him. Fix this offensive line. H however you got to do it. Free agency draft, just fix the offensive line. Fix the defense. For the most part, the secondary. All right, our defense was trash. And hopefully that comes along with firing Billy Davis and replacing him with someone who's legitimate, who's had success in this league. Billy Davis, yes, at least he was a defensive coordinator. He's had a history of being a defensive coordinator. But he's never had a top 10 defense anywhere he's been. So it was like, get someone who's at least had success in this league. Um, so yeah, keep Sam Bradford, build the... O Build the O-line, get it stable, build on the defense, add to it, improve the secondary big time, replace Billy Davis with someone successful, and if, after all that, if there's viable room, cap, whatever, add a legit threat at receiver. Just one. doesn't have to be an all-star like Megatron or, you know, anything like that, or ODB or anything like that. Just a legit number one receiver. Something, a receiver that deserves to be a number one on a team. It could be like an Ashawn Jeffrey. It doesn't have to, see, he's, he's big time, but he's not big time. You know what I mean? Just something like that. Just something. Whereas the secondary or the defenses have to at least definitely account for this person. You know what I mean? That's, that's all I'm asking. Jordan Matthews is good. I think Nelson Aguilar will come around eventually. You know, I, I like our tight ends, you know. But at, just, you know, if you can. They do these moves. The Eagles will be improved big time. The biggest downfall, the biggest downfall was the offensive line and the defense. Those were the biggest downfalls of this team. Sam Bradford is legit. I promise you. Everyone thinks he sucks. If you just watch him, just watch him. Forget about the... I don't know, the aura that follows him, like what you think of him, because I didn't watch him really in St. Louis. And you know what? I'll be honest with you. When we signed him, I knew he was a first-round pick. Everyone said he could make all the throws and everything. I was like, all right, all right. But I didn't really know for myself. Um, I just remember not hearing much about him in St. Louis. You know, he wasn't lighting the league on fire. But then again, he was injured. He did win Rookie of the Year that one year. Um, but and, and he sucked earlier on this year. I was like, oh, after lighting it up in preseason, like, I still don't get that. Like, I, I get defenses weren't aren't game planning. I get that much. But the throws he was making were pinpoint and accurate as all hell in the preseason. And then it just wasn't him when the regular season started. And then he got, boop, 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 went up, you know, just every week, just improved, improved, improved. To the last few weeks, it was like, we can win a Super Bowl with him. 
just build the rest of the stuff around him. And then you got Eagles fans sitting there wanting to fucking do the quarterback carousel, not wanting to pay the man. You know what? We're not always going to be lucky. We're not always going to be the Seattle Seahawks winning a Super Bowl with a quarterback on his rookie salary. The Seahawks had to pay Russell Wilson eventually. Guess what? We will have to pay any quarterback eventually. Get a damn franchise quarterback. It costs money. It costs money. You can't get it for free. I mean, you have to pay. Quarterback is the most expensive position in the NFL. You have to pay. And people, the injury history, yes, that was, that's a legit scare. I'll, I'll grant that. But if you just watch him play, give him stability, build around him. Even Tom Brady sucked without Gronk and Edelman. I mean, we played him and beat him. Remember that? Through two interceptions, he was terrible. You need something. You need something. Bradford did not have, he had a shit defense. I mean, a terrible defense, which is weird. As soon as Hicks, our rookie linebacker, went out, our defense just, it can't be just one rookie linebacker because our secondary was shit. We can't get a pass rush. We can't buy a pass rush. He can't make that much of a difference. I don't know what, what was going on. But um, he didn't. Ha his secondary was crap. No name receivers. A terrible offensive line. The fuck are you? Sp what, what's he supposed to do? What's he supposed to do? I think Sam Bradford. And this is people. People are gonna laugh at me. I truly believe Sam Bradford is a better quarterback than what McNabb was for us. McNabb had the Jim Johnson defense, kept scores down. We had a top five unit almost every year. He had a solid running game, a solid offensive line with Runyon and Thomas and list goes on and on. I mean, Jamal Jackson. I... And Bradford uh, and, and McNabb would he's just he was not accurate enough half the time. Sure as hell wasn't a leader. You know, maybe a leader in his own right, maybe, but he always kind of put the his teammates down in a weird way. It was, it was, I don't know. I just was not a big McNabb fan. But you know what? You got to give him credit. He got the job done. Well, outside of the Super Bowl, he was successful. But he had a lot. He had a lot with him. You know, he had a lot of advantages. Build this team. We got our quarterback. We. I promise you, if he stays healthy anyway, we got our quarterback. I promise you. <clears throat> this is why I kind of hope that you can call me less of an Eagles fan, but this is why I really hope the Giants beat us. I really hope the Giants beat us because then we can play a third place schedule, have even a better draft pick. Um, and maybe Billy Davis gets fired and everything. There's a good chance we're a much better team next year. A good chance. So, again, Redskins fans, I'm sorry. I don't mean to sound bitter. You were the better team this year. Definitely playing the more consistent football. Okay? So, I was just... I look at this as the Redskins going to get balanced. Have a lower draft pick. Play a first-place schedule next year. And I do not, for the life of me, seeing them repeat as division champions next year. I see the Giants bouncing back. Maybe. Maybe. Eli's just... That team's weird. They got the talent. They're just weird. Anyway, I definitely see the Cowboys bouncing back. You know, Romo and everything. Uh, definitely see them bouncing back. Um, and I see the Eagles bouncing back. If they do some sort of things. They can go either way with the Eagles. I'm hoping it's that way. Alright guys, I'm out. Peace. And Redskins fans, stop talking shit. Alright, I wasn't trying to take anything away from your team. Have fun getting destroyed by Seattle. I, I mean, congrats for w winning a meaningless division this year. You know, and I'd have, I would have said the same thing. I promise you, if we would have won the division, I would have sat there and been like, we're going to get destroyed by Seattle. <laughs> you know what I mean? For what? All right. Peace out, guys.